Everybody, this is Beetle Five. Here we come at you with another one of my reaction videos. Here I have the Ginger here. Hello, everyone. And uh, today we'll be reacting to the Venom versus Bane death battle. Now, I think Venom is gonna eat Bane. That's oh, yeah, it. That's it. I just, I really don't. I think this is an extremely one-sided fight. And yeah, Bane. I, I Bane want only, Venom. Yeah, I want yeah, Venom. Bane only this. has the strength, and, and he has smarts. He's smart also, yeah. but Venom has Venom's more, that. He's got that and more. So. I really don't see how he can win this fight. So it's like Spider-Man versus strength. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Yeah, exactly. Similar. I mean, he's ten times stronger than Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so that's just it. Venom's gonna win this fight. Just no, no, oh, other, yeah. no other details to sell. So. All right. <laughs> so let's get this shit started. Then in three, two, one, go. We haven't really done the best job with our merchandise recently, and we really want to be able to give our community new stuff that they'll enjoy. And you've got an impressive resume, so if you think you can handle it, the merchandise director job is yours. Great to be here, Mr. Hines. I won't let you guys down. <laughs> they, the what's with this one Muppet they pulled out of, like, the last time he was there? Well, Rooster Teeth First is kind of like our subscription service for the RT website, the mobile app, and uh, Forgive the me, I'm kind of sick TV. today, so. Yeah, for less than $5 but a month, I had to get, this get out. access to <coughs> early, exclusive content. Everything's ad-free, and one membership works across all brands on the website. What's your plan for the promotion? Well, I was thinking I'd just put this uh, up on, you know, the internet. <laughs> Didn't you know it's a film crew? <laughs> all right, I'll see you around the water cooler. Oh, box. <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't work out... We're gonna have to eat you. We're gonna have to eat you. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> hey, you, dead. Sign up for first membership now. What are they gonna eat me? <laughs> are they gonna eat me? <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. <laughs> Champion of justice inspires others, whether they mean to or not. And sometimes that inspiration creates your worst nightmare. Venom, Venom, the ultimate antithesis to Spider-Man. And Bane, the burly genius who broke the bet. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Right. The word symbiosis refers to two organisms He's such an living awesome in beneficial villain. harmony. Oh, that was my favorite That was a great episode, yeah. With over an obsessive, psychotic desire to kill Spider-Man. Eddie Brock was an up-and-coming journalist on the brink of national success when life decided to just shit all over him. One day, Eddie published an article incriminating a man he thought was a serial killer. However, that very same day, Spider-Man caught the real killer, publicly shaming Eddie. As a result, Eddie's company fired him, oh. his father disowned him, and oh. his wife left him. Oh, wow. Also, he had cancer. Oh, he Eddie had cancer. a bad day. Understandably pretty upset about it, Eddie blamed Spider-Man for ruining his life. This led to his fateful meeting with a weird black gooey alien. Remember Gag from the 90s? It's just like that. <laughs> Remember Gag from the 90s? <laughs> oh, that's great. This was a symbiote from the planet Clintar, an alien species with one goal, to grow stronger by fusing with a living host. I know that sounds intimidating and almost parasitic, but the Clintar people are naturally a peaceful race. However, huh. they often inherit their oh. host's traits and personality. I never this knew that. This symbiote in particular had yeah. previously That's bonded cool. with a, like a whole race alien of bent on genocide and a costume superhero everybody knows as Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the symbiote oh, possessed no Deadpool at one point? Insane after that. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> I never knew that. bonded with Spider-Man, who experienced this rage and lunacy firsthand. Horrified by mm -hmm. this, Spider-Man eventually discarded the symbiote. Unaware, the alien had determined Spidey was its ideal host and became obsessed with him. Much like bar trash, Cindy, <laughs> you guys, it's Frankie me. Spooky really one, again. smoosh, so smoosh. What do you get when you oh, that was a great an angry episode. man and a black goo monster both hatefully obsessed with the same guy? <laughs> Most just call him Venom. Did you know Eddie came yeah. up with the name Venom because he felt he was spewing venom from the tabloids he worked at? Seriously? Uh, I give that origin a 3 out of 10. <laughs> Thank God the name's cool at least. Oh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Venom's Spider abilities are even cooler. He's insanely strong, ridiculously agile, and has a fast-paced healing factor. He can power through bullets with no problem at all. 
Plus, the symbiote carries some of the abilities of its previous owners, including Spidey. That means he can climb on walls and shoot webbing strong enough that Spidey oh, himself cool. can't break through. Technically speaking, Venom simply reproduces the webbing effects via one of his more useful powers, shape-shifting. This symbiote can act as a liquid, allowing it to increase Venom's size. I guess the symbiote really only has two weaknesses, um, sound and fire. Discretion. That's yeah, the only weakness Venom, Venom has. Morph into a wingsuit to glide through the oh, air. Oh shit, he can fly. Isolate <laughs> merge toxins from its host body, oh. straight up turn invisible, or oh, yeah, no, he can just wrap spikes for simple stabbing weapons. With these abilities seemingly limited only by his twisted imagination, Venom has tangled with many of his world's heavy hitters. Oh, man. He's defeated Spider-Man without having a host, resisted Ghost Rider's penance stare, and resisted shaken off Ghost the Rider's penance stare? That's right, oh. he's even taken blows from the likes of the Juggernaut and the Hulk. Even oh. if Venom does get injured, the symbiote can rapidly heal its host. From broken bones, impalement from the chest, or even blasts from an anti-tank rocket. He's also so speedy that he can catch up to bullets in mid-flight. But if he doesn't feel like it, he'll just take a uh, shot uh, and spit it back. He just gobbles the bullets and spits it out. He can bust down wow. metal doors with his fists, tear apart large military trucks, or throw cars several blocks away. I mean, part of that's got to be Brock. Have you seen how much that dude can lift? Jesus. Most impressively, Venom once held up a giant carnival ride similar to a Ferris wheel, even after getting struck by one of his worst weaknesses. A sound gun. Sound, yeah. A sound gun? That's pretty Vibrations. Lame. So, like, I could just beat him yeah. if I scream really loud? With enough sound or literal firepower, yes, yeah, fire. you could force the symbiote Something to like. expose the vulnerable host underneath. Though I should note that repeated exposure has helped Venom build up some tolerance. Also, while the symbiote is highly versatile, Venom is not exactly a strategist. Unsurprising given his apparent insanity. I like being bad. It makes, it makes me happy. Me happy. <laughs> the symbiote yeah. also requires a diet containing the chemical phenethylamine. Pheno, what? Huh. You like buy that? <laughs> <at the store>? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's found in certain fungi, chocolate, and brain matter, which the symbiote greatly hungers for. Brains. Oh, right! Now it eats brains. God, this guy <laughs> is literally a living nightmare. <laughs> Eddie, is that you? There's no more Eddie, and no more symbiote. Only. Venom. Nice. Yeah, he's got this fight. And his personal yeah. mission to drive crime from Gotham City. Oh, another good Batman cartoon. Has faced Batman. Oh, I thought that was Batman Beyond. Like, last, I love Batman Beyond. But none challenged his sheer willpower more than Bane. the monstrous man called Bane. Bane's life was screwed from the start. He was born into prison and made to carry out his dead dad's life sentence. Talk about carrying the sins of your father. Huh. I mean, who puts a baby in jail? Couldn't it just like crawl Is a big guy for you. <laughs> so many <laughs> questions. See that shit. The child spent his dawning years in captivity, <laughs> forced to fend for himself against a cruel and unforgiving world. Then one day, a fateful accident caused something to snap inside him. I'm guessing his neck. No. <laughs> well, it should have. Instead, the boy slipped into a coma where he saw a vision of his future self. A man standing above all other men. Future self told him he would be second to none so long as he could conquer the power of fear, which is apparently shaped Much like, like a bat. Batman. Ah, would you look at that? <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Batman when the child thing. awoke, he began his journey to conquer that fear through the power of bloody murder. Oh, oh yeah. man. That's also when the prison warden called him a bane to everything holy. And that's why he's named Bane. Ugh, two out of ten. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't long before Bane caught wind of a certain bat ruling Gotham City by fear. But he got to work trying to become the ridiculously jacked guy he saw in his dream so he could take down Batman once and for all. As he grew up, Bane entered an intense daily workout regimen, not just of his body, but his mind as well. He educated himself in 10 languages, escapology, combat tactics, and several martial arts, including Damn. a few he created himself. Well, yeah, was it? He knows almost as much shit as Batman legend does. Across the prison. Oh, yeah. So to remind everybody who was in charge, the warden decided to make an example of him. See, this place wasn't just a prison. The army of Santa Prisco was conducting tests on human subjects with an experimental formula called Venom. Venom. Because super soldier formulas are all the rage. The <laughs> procedure had killed every previous test subject, but Bane proved hardier than expected. And after he had a taste, 
Bane wanted venom for himself, so he faked his own death, punched a few sharks to death, and lived to the some sharks to death. Landed. The inmates joined his cause, and he took his new super soldier serum to Gotham City. Using a special apparatus on his wrist, Bane can administer a dosage of venom directly into his brain at will. Doing so dramatically increases his muscle mass, turning him into one of Gotham City's most ferocious physical threats. Oh, Arkham Asylum. Love yep. that game. He's destroyed the Batmobile with his bare hands, jumped off skyscrapers without injury, and lifted loaded armored trucks which weigh tens of thousands of pounds. And then there's the feat he's most famous for. Broke his spine. Yep. Breaking the back of yeah. Batman. Yep. But Bane didn't just break bone. He literally put poor Batman into a coma. Well, years later, Batman did get his revenge. After swapping powers with Superman, he <laughs> Whoa, shit, he did that? He broke his everything. Oh my Somehow god. This didn't kill him. Oh, He's wow. one tough son of a bitch, and if he needs it, Bane can crank up his flow of venom for more strength and faster healing. But when he first tried this, it came at a cost. Turns out, an overdose of venom can temporarily deteriorate one's mind turning Bane into a mindless, muscle-bound beast. Ah! And it's also Jesus. surprisingly addictive. So eventually, Bane swore off the stuff for some time. But this only let Bane prove that he is just as dangerous even without the performance-enhancing drug. He's been pelted by dozens of bricks at once and taken countless stabbings and bullets without even reacting. He once cauterized his own wound with a blowtorch and even got thrown hundreds of yards by a last woman and got right back up ready to fight. Still mm. off the juice, Bane is strong enough to tear down a stone prison wall, casually rip off an armored guy's limbs, and take out dozens of members of the League of Assassins, solo. But if he really needs to, he can always fall off the wagon and get back on the venom. Bane's absurd power is matched only by his intelligent mind. I don't know, I'm starting to think maybe memory. he Rivals won't be so easy to chess. beat. And deduce the identity of yeah. Batman in Bane one has a year when no one else But, but I feel like yeah, Bane Bane's can pretty ridiculous, like double his no strength. He's at his best Unless Venom can maybe do something him, a little bit more unique. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it's getting a little tougher to decide. And he then soon got addicted yeah. to that stuff all oh. over again. Still, Bane has proven over and over again that with or without Venom, anyone who crosses him will beg for mercy and receive none. We fought before I broke the bat. Today, I break the man. Oh. I. All right, the combatants are. I'm not a bad. Switch. I'm not a bad any venom. I'm not a bad any him. But all this strength, tongue is. What about, what about me, you? I gotta bulk up, and the best way to do it is with a delicious home-cooked meal. I think. Now, I don't think a good maybe Bane can figure out Venom's weakness, like if he does something sound related, but he doesn't have anything to do that. Way, food could be and that depends on their environment. Me. Good news, um, Boomstick. Introducing Blue Apron, the number one. Venom's got tentacles shit he can be doing. Using only he has a really good healing factor. I think it's better than Bane's, in my opinion. And, um. Along with easy to follow instructions. What is Plus, the ingredients The only thing that made me have doubts is that Bane can be strong even without the serum. Without the symbiote. Any Brock is kind of a little to nothing. Yeah. I mean, he's strong. Like he he is. You're going with Bane. Yeah. All right. I, I gotta stay with Venom on this one. And exciting meals right in your own. I want. Yeah, I want to believe. I want to believe in him. I want to. Want you to try it. I, yeah. I want to be Venom. You can get All right. Well, you, you can pick Bane. That's fine. By heading to Blue Lord knows our our decisions in Death Valley are pretty tied. I mean, I guess I I've been right over you a few times. You've been right over me a few times. So. That's I just think the smart is gonna die because he's gonna find out that Venom is right sound now, and then bolt. All right, oh, that's that's his fair. All right, okay, okay here we go. This. Here we go. Step aside, niños. Oh yeah, he's he's Spanish. Typically, pain. Oh man, it's bad. No, it's something else. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, he ate their brains. 
Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh man. You're mine. All right, yeah. come on. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. <laughs> Fucking AK. Oh yeah, right. You can shoot bullets out of his mouth. Oh. oh wow, they're pulling in a lot of these combos from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's cool. Oh wow. Oh, you're oh. blood spicy. <laughs> Did he slit his throat? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, kick his ass. Oh, right in the face! Oh, big daddy can punch! Oh, boy. Oh! <laughs> so, you fall back on cheap magic tricks, trying to disappear. Yet you don't know how to be truly invisible. No. What? Permission to die. What? What just happened? What did I say he could take an anti tank. Yeah, that is a tank. That ain't gonna kill him. Oh boy, more venom. Look, he's under. He's around. You're fire. just like all the others. Oh. Broken. No. Oh. Oh. Oh! 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 Unbreakable. Oh! 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 What's happening? Yeah, because he's still. He, can take he the got him! Venom. He got him! I thought that was the end of him! Now! What we came for! Oh! 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 Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Venom. Ew, that can't taste good. Oh, Both awesome. fighters were intense Enraged. physical threats, but only one wielded the superior Venom. I knew he was Venom had many advantages I mean, over Bane. Speed, durability, versatility, suck, and even Venom. strength. <laughs> Bane's peak strength was at most just enough to lift a 27-ton car. Meanwhile, Venom was strong enough to stop a falling carnival ride and hold it up by himself even while in a weakened state. Comparing it to similar carnival rides, my very conservative estimate would place this thing weighing around 200 tons. Way more impressive than anything Bane ever lifted. Of course, Bane was smarter. However, even if he had deduced Venom's key weaknesses to fire and sound, he wasn't really equipped to take advantage of them. As for speed, Venom could catch bullets. Even better, he could catch up to bullets in midair. He had to move over 1,500 miles per hour to do that. Ironically enough, almost twice the speed of sound. Surprisingly, their durability levels were pretty even. Both have taken hits from Superman-level beings and lived to fight another day. The big difference being Venom's healing factor was far superior. He could fight on part yeah, with Juggernaut, who thinking. can make 4.8 magnitude earthquakes with his bare hands. But it's not like Batman ever needed super strength to knock Bane out cold. In time, Venom's superior strength, speed, durability, and versatility simply overwhelmed Bane. Looks like Venom was the real Bane of this fight. <laughs> the winner oh, is Venom. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I like that. Hey, stick around to find out who's coming up next on oh. Death Battle. And if you want to see behind the scenes commentary no, on the episode, then click no that box time. and start what a 30 day hell? free first membership trial. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Well, that's. Oh, wait, oh. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. I guess they're doing a new now. Power Rangers! Power Rangers! Power Rangers! Like Rangers! All I saw them? the lightning bolt. It's it's a Power Rangers thing. That's what that shit is. I guess I saw it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh, what is he gonna do? The five of them? I don't know. He hasn't. They haven't done a Power Ranger death battle since that one time where the White Ranger fought um the guy from Gundam. Yeah. 
I don't I don't remember that was one of their older death battles, but I know that they had the White Power Ranger versus Gundam Epion, I think. Yeah. Or is that the, the name of the show? I don't, I I have no fucking clue. But that was an awesome battle. That yeah, really I'm happy cool. that Venom. I I realized that I forgot that he can Venom can last the the break back. Yeah, I'm gonna say his oh. suit can prevent shit like that. So. Yeah. But anyway, that was wicked. Was... So thank oh, you guys yeah. so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment for those who react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later.